welcome everybody back to the channel here. The focus for today's video is the Arrowhead report, the report that was uh, heard around the world, and that was its intent. If you have not reviewed the report, I'm going to highlight a few things in this video. Jump in. We're going to look at um, a few highlights. Uh, the the big highlight and focal point was the increase of uh, fair market value, uh, both on the low and high side, resting at about $3.60 CAD, as well as $5 on the top end, $5 CAD. Um, certainly enough to get somebody's attention when the stock is currently trading at just over $1 CAD. Um, very interesting report. It is a summary report that can provide you the due diligence necessary. It was everything that the Aduro report from a couple of months ago uh, aimed to provide and then some. I think you will find that this report answers any questions you may have about where the company has been, where it's going, what its total addressable market is, and and the uh, expected compounding annual growth rate of that opportunity. It's going to talk about your upper management. It's going to talk about the timelines and evolution um, up until now, where we stand. Very important summary on the news releases. Certainly need to go into each individual news release to understand the, the details surrounding each of those announcements. But I thought Arrowhead hit this out of the park. And as a share owner in the company to the tune of 27,000, 500 shares, full share disclosure provided in the description of this video, as well as the disclaimer uh, of this video. Uh, this video is made for educational and informational purposes. I am compensated, and I want to remind each and every investor to do their own due diligence when reviewing any company out there and making sure that it fits into their own individual portfolio. But these videos are pushed out for awareness, and Arrowhead has just uh, released a gem, 47-page uh, beauty. Uh, and I'm going to work through some of the highlights, talk about some of the financials, uh, some of the latest news releases that were um, a part of the Arrowhead uh, opportunity. There were some parts of the report that I cannot talk about um, on this video. I just expect you to go in there and read about it. If you don't know about hydrolytic uh, um, technology, you're going to want to go in there and review that. Uh, how does it work? What does it do? Why the need? Uh, I found interesting the cross comparison between the hydrochemolytic uh, technology versus its peers. Um, just an absolutely fantastic, rich with content report uh, that I would encourage each and every share owner out there. And without that, guys, we will jump into the Arrowhead report uh, and highlight a few of what I felt like were the real takeaways from just an absolutely beautiful uh, release uh, amongst many. Uh, releases just over the last week, seeing the stock up over 25% uh, just over the last month. Guys, please enjoy. Uh, here is the Arrowhead due diligence report that has uh, created quite a churn and brought uh, would-be investors, investors alike, uh, up close and personal with Aduro Clean Technologies. Uh, this report is fantastic. Uh, anybody out there that is interested in the story, is a current share owner in the company or just interested in the story uh, should take a few moments to review this document. It was well laid out. Uh, if you want to understand, even going farther back than the three years that Aduro has been in public facing markets, you kind of understand a little bit about the inception of the company, how uh, it is and how it's evolved over time and, and how we are where we are now. Um, the real uh, kicker here that got everybody's attention was the call out for uh, a re basic rewriting uh, or re-evaluation uh, of the stock price, a re-rating of its current undervalue uh, at a dollar oh five CAD uh, to $3.60 CAD on the low end and $5 uh, CAD on the high end. Uh, very intriguing here, uh, outlining the highlights and strategic direction of the company in its licensing technology, as well as its potential uh, to build and deploy a, a an owned uh, R3 unit. Um, so lots of options there for, uh, for different revenue streams just on the plastic recycling here. Um, it does outline uh, the company overview. It gives a great, great, in, in one document, uh, synopsis on the uh, share structure, the share ownership, uh, the timelines like I had suggested, uh, some of the uh, risks that they've identified with the company, as well as uh, some of the pros 
uh, all wrapped up in one document. I highly encourage would-be uh, share owners of the company, existing share owners, to take a review of this document as I found it critical release in the firestorm of a lot of information that has been poured onto the public markets here related to AduroClean Technologies and the multiple advancements they have made on many fronts. Uh, this document actually summarizes all of those to date. The urgency to understand how limited this share float is is represented here by the Arrowhead Report. I want to bring your attention to the 64 million just over uh, shares outstanding here, but the vast um, big chunk of the pie is actually owned by upper management. And I, I think it is worth noting here uh, how tight this share float is with the remaining uh, just shy of 41 million shares outstanding uh, to speak to the demand over the shares as the interest does increase in the company. And I will be closely monitoring um, this uh, aspect of the company, especially the unique nature of the vested uh, interest that upper management has in the completion of R3, the first two-thirds of the vesting uh, and accomplished milestones have been achieved and those shares have been released. But the final uh, third uh, piece to the vesting is when R3 is completed. Uh, very unique way of aligning uh, shareholders and upper management alike in this project. And I think it just speaks to uh, one of many aspects about how Aduro sets themselves apart uh, from the from the crowd. So the need to go out and identify each of these news releases uh, individually um, has been nicely summarized here in Arrowhead, so you can actually review a synopsis. Now, there is more amplifying in each of the respective newsletters. However, Arrowhead does a nice job of summarizing uh, the releases, especially the accelerated pace of release over the last couple of months uh, to, of note, the appointment of Eric Appleman uh, to uh, head up and look to expand upon their European um, uh, market expansion. Uh, they're excited to have him. He's a, a wonderful asset. His um, background, not only as a chemical engineer, but his work with Unilever, um, is is second to none, and I think they've hit a real home run here. So it'll be great to watch the developments uh, of of Eric and and the team uh, as they look to expand their European reach. The update on the Cheryl Game Changer program is one that I've covered um, uh, through previous videos on the channel, but the corporate update was the one that kind of came really uh, through a, a fairly dry spell for Aduro on the news front. Uh, and it shocked the market, and the stock actually increased um, only to see a retracement in the stock. But I, I think this follow-through really does provide some substance and some comfort to share owners in understanding that this company is establishing a very strong, already established baseline going into the end, years in 2023 uh, and more to follow coming into 2024 with what's been established here uh, in, in a very strong 2023 for Aduro. If you uh, your mark page 43 for review, Arrowhead does a great job of identifying the low bracket estimates for top end revenue uh, going forward uh, about eight years from here, seven years anyway, and also on the high end bracket estimates. And you're going to want to look at this. Uh, this was very telling in looking at a potential break-even point here. Uh, what Arrowhead sees happening or transpiring over the short term uh, and then a potential for a longer term forecast on both the low and high end. Um, my interpretation of this is quite simple uh, here in 2023 to turn back 275 a uh, thousand of revenue is impressive enough, but uh, quickly to scale up in 2024 to just over two million uh, is an extremely huge jump and then a, a, an enormous jump to 2025. But this aligns with the investor presentation that discusses uh, its uh, commercial plants and viability, bringing those plants uh, on the line with would-be customers having the construction done and having those licensing deals in place. Um, and then into 2026 and 2027 for the expansion phase and then the, the leveling off into 28, 29, and 30. 
at over $100 million of top-end revenue. This is really exciting stuff here, but I think it's a tale of two tapes. When we look at the opportunity over the short to medium term, the company just goes through an astronomical uh, projected growth rate on the top end, uh, presuming that they're going to take on uh, new contracts for licensing their technology. Uh, and then I think Arrowhead is looking to forecast a potential uh, 2027, 2028, uh, 29, and 30, respectively, as being kind of those leveling off years, having those processors or those reactors in place and working uh, and gleaning that revenue off of those reactors. It would be hard to um, anticipate that far out uh, without moving through these preliminary years of, of, of really upscaling the technology and bringing it to commercial viability. Uh, but the cool part is the net income on the bottom line piece there projected in 2026 at 22 million. Um, that's where the company becomes EBITDA profitable, uh, 53 million, uh, 57 million uh, in 2028, 63 and 70 million respectively out to, to 2030. Uh, and that's how the numbers shake out. All of those uh, numbers were in CAD. Uh, so uh, make your assessments based on that as appropriate. And those numbers that I uh, chose to focus in for the sake of discussion for this review uh, of the uh, Aduro Financial Summary all came from the low-end bracket estimates that Arrowhead has put forward uh, for, your, uh, for your review on where potentially this company could look both on the top and bottom line going forward. All right, guys, so we've come out of the Arrowhead report. Uh, certainly want to invite you to follow the Aduro story, Aduro Clean Tech uh, on Twitter. Uh, very important. You'll have access to the uh, full report, all 47 pages, as well as uh, visiting Aduro Clean Technologies. A lot of the source information uh, that was used in the making of the Arrowhead report uh, came from um, the information that is available on Aduro's website. I would invite you to educate yourself up on the story and the grander plastic problem that Aduro is looking to solve with their groundbreaking technology. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the totality of this video. If you enjoy the content that you have coming through, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of this video. If you have any questions about the technology, the upper management, um, that can go directly across the board to the sources that can have those questions answered uh, for you guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future.